So you want to go to Scotland, but you don't know how much it'll cost. Well, that's what I'm here for. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how much everything costs to go to Scotland, how much you're going to pay for flights, accommodations, transportation, activities, and even your food and drinks. So in Scotland, they use British pounds as the national currency. But in this video, all of these prices are going to be listed in US dollars. Most of my viewers are from America, so we're sticking with dollars. So starting off with flights, all of these prices are going to be round trip to and from Edinburgh in Scotland. And I use Skyscanner for all of my flights. It compares all the prices from various airlines and gives them to you all in one place. So it makes it very easy. As a baseline, I'm going to be using November 7th to November 21st of this year. A flight from LAX in California will cost you around $8.50 for a round trip. From Chicago, Illinois, around $7.75. From New York, 700. From Miami, 750. A little bit more local. If you're just coming from Dublin, it's only going to cost you around $50 US. Any super local European countries, it'll cost you around one to two hundred dollars for a flight. If you're coming a little bit further from China, it'll be around 850. All the way from Brazil will cost you a thousand dollars. And even further than that, if you're coming all the way from Australia, it'll cost you around $1,500 for a round trip flight. So in my experience, I took a plane from Cork, Ireland to Edinburgh, Scotland, and that flight costed me around $60 US. So moving on to accommodations, you have multiple options for your stay in Scotland. The prices will vary drastically depending where in Scotland you want to stay. If you're going to stay in a big city, it's going to be a lot more expensive than if you're staying in a small town. So the cheapest option would be to stay in a hostel, whatever city you decide to stay in. In my experience, I paid around $30 a night for each one of my hostels, both Scotland and Ireland before that. $30 a night seems to be kind of the average. So do a little bit of research, see what amenities they have. If you're going to choose a hostel, I recommend choosing one for maybe five to ten dollars a night more expensive if they include amenities such as laundry. In Edinburgh, the whole week that I was there, my hostel did not have a working laundry room at the time, so I was forced to walk just to find a laundromat. They charged me around fifteen dollars US just to do my laundry, and that was for only one load. So if you want to stay somewhere a little bit more upscale in a hostel, the classic choice would be just to rent a hotel room, if you are willing to pay for it. So in Edinburgh and even Glasgow, most hotels are going to be around $100 a night or more. There's also more upscale hotels that are going to charge you anywhere from three to 400 a night if you're willing to pay that and you can afford it. Another option would be an Airbnb. But keep in mind, these are drastically more expensive. However, you're going to get something very, very unique. There's lots of cabins in Scotland. There's even a couple castles that you can rent if you're really willing to spend the money. Basically, whatever your price range is, you're going to find something. But Scotland is not the cheapest country in the world. So be ready to pay a pretty penny by the end of it. So moving on to transportation. You also have a lot of options for this one. So starting with the most obvious choice would be to take a bus. It costed me about $6 US to get from the airport to the city center. They're the cheapest way to go if you want to get somewhere far without paying too much. Another option is a taxi or an Uber. In my experience, taxi and Uber rides just going across the city no more than a few miles. They were charging at least $20 for a simple short ride through the city center. If you have a little bit more money to spend and you're not worried about it, you can also rent a car of your own for around $100 a day. Keep in mind that $100 a day is before the taxes and fees. Any damage to the car, they're going to charge you significantly more. And don't forget they drive on the left side of the road. If you do decide to rent a car, make sure that you know all the rules and you're not going to get yourself in any trouble or harm anybody by not knowing those rules. If you want to go a little bit farther distance and you don't want to drive yourself and you don't want to pay for an Uber, another option is the train. So there's multiple train stations all around Scotland. I took one from Edinburgh to Glasgow and this costed me $15 for, I want to say, a one to two hour ride. It was very affordable and it was actually very enjoyable looking out the window and getting to see all the green scenery as we passed by. And lastly, another option for transportation around Scotland is simply just by walking. 
So this is what I did most of the time. I walked way more than I thought that I was capable of on this trip. It's free. You can see everything a lot more in detail. You can stop wherever you want. You can go buy any restaurants on the way. You can buy some souvenirs. You can do whatever you want. You're completely free. It's completely free and it's the way that I highly recommend going about it. Especially if your hostel or your hotel is in the city center of whatever city you visit, this will be by far the easiest way and probably even the quickest way in multiple cases. There's also plenty of free things that you can walk to go see, but we'll get into that in just a moment. So moving on to activities, there's tons and tons of different things to do in Scotland, but they all come at a price. So first thing, day trips. I was looking through the website Viator. Each one seems to be about $70 to $120 for a 12 hour day trip. But these will include trips to multiple cities. It'll include the bus ride there, a guided tour. Personally, I believe if you have the money, these are the best way to go. Because you can choose from many different day trips, choose exactly what you want to go see, and they take care of everything for you. Just pay up front, show up, and see multiple attractions. Also in Edinburgh, another thing that you can visit is the Edinburgh Castle. The only downside is that there is an entrance fee, just the entry was around $20 US. So on to some of the other attractions, most of these ones are going to be free, and in my experience these are a lot of the ones that I actually did on my trip and can recommend. So number one is pub crawls. Most hostels will get groups together once a week or even twice a week for pub crawls. They're free to go on, but you do still have to pay for the drinks that you get on them. You can also go on walking tours, whether by yourself or with curated groups. Most hostels will also offer walking tours for free. However, you probably do want to tip your guide at the end. So that's what I call free plus. Most things that you would be interested in seeing, there's probably a tour for. So as you're walking around on the streets for free, another great thing to see is all of the street musicians. There were multiple street musicians that I saw in Edinburgh that were incredibly talented, and it was a thoroughly enjoyable time. This is free to see, but once again, I would consider it free plus because it's usually a good idea to tip these guys, especially if you're enjoying what they're doing. Gotta respect the art. Or in addition to street musicians, sightseeing is free, most museums are free. I actually went to one in Glasgow that was free that I really enjoyed. So lastly, on to food and drinks. Just like any other country, the prices are going to be all over the place depending where you buy your food from, but I'll try to go over at least the different categories and how much you might be looking to spend for them. So most of my meals and the cheapest way to go is by shopping at a convenience store. Most of my meals were from convenience stores like these and I was just buying as cheap stuff as I could. Most of my meals ended up being around 5 to 10 dollars. You can often find sandwich wraps or pre-made sandwiches for around 3 dollars. And at a lot of places, they will include a meal deal that also comes with chips and a drink for a total of five to six dollars. I did this at almost every single airport I visited on this trip. If you're looking to get a burger somewhere, you might be paying a little bit more. I got a huge burger from Fat Hippo in Edinburgh, and my total came out to around $17. I feel like that was a little bit steep. Chances are, while you're in Scotland, you're probably also going to buy some beer or some alcohol. You can find beer for as little as $2 in bottles from convenience stores, or $10 for the same amount if you buy it on draft at a bar. When in Scotland, one thing that you absolutely have to try is scotch. The average glass will be about $10, anywhere up to around $100 for a single glass if you're getting something really, really special. Trying some scotch was something that I wanted to do while I was there, but I didn't have the money for it. So luckily one of my roommates got a fancy bottle of scotch and offered to let me have some which was very nice of him. And it was actually very good too. In Edinburgh, I was able to get a bowl of ramen, something that I really enjoyed when I was there, for around $17. For anybody that doesn't know, ramen is actually one of my favorite meals of all time. So I hope you guys all found this interesting and you found some of this information useful. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and have a good one.